man, did they have some like 10 out of 10 ads that were like this, but right? This way more <laughs> believable and better and fun. This is like the Dolly 2 version of their previous. Yes, exactly. So let's quickly get to this, uh, the final ad here, Dollar Shave Club. Um, certainly they've come a long way since, um, well, let's just watch it. Did you say Dollar Shave Glove? Dollar sh <laughs> It's the new product. Uh, it's a glove with razors on it. And <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah, I have a patent. So let's just watch this one. with ingrown hairs, razor bumps. I can actually see where I'm shaving. Oh my God, Jesus. Um, so I'll let you guys tear into it, but I think this ad is really super interesting because it looks like they're doing everything right but they're like doing everything wrong uh, in the way that they're doing it. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyone have any thoughts on this ad? I, I wish we could go back and watch their similar ads of this aesthetic and vibe from like two years ago mm -hmm. when they used to be the absolute world leaders in this type of creative. And for the life of me, I don't understand why they're not running some of the bangers that they had back those days, probably because they rebranded and or their product looks different. But man, did they have some like 10 out of 10 ads that were like this, but right? The way more believable and better and fun. This is like the Dolly 2 version of their previous. Yes, <laughs> exactly. The thing that they're like trying to remember is like, okay, let's show some show some close ups of hair being shaved and like mm -hmm. let's do let's do the razor throw away. Like, <laughs> right like there let's yeah. let's show a scantily clad women woman mm -hmm. like i like they're doing some of the tricks that they've learned in the past but they're not really fully embracing the the whole story mm -hmm. um so yeah it's this is there's some things they're getting right like this is almost more feels like almost like native in that it would be like one of those like news story style videos, not like UGC, but more like it reminds me of like those kind of cheesy um, weight loss or um, like supplement ads. Mm. Um, this, this is what this all reminds me of where it's somewhat educational. It's just, I don't know, not great. It feels like to me, somebody said, make a three reasons why ad with all this footage we have and like shoehorn all the footage into the narrative of like, what the three reasons why dermatologists or whatever, whatever. And mm -hmm. like, that's a tactic plenty of people use. It's fine. But I'm just not really, I'm not following any of these words. I'm not reading any of these words. I'm when we get the get all this, I'm not reading that. When we see DSC, what is DSC? I like, hate that. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, right. And then this little thing after your, what's on the left-hand side down there, Jess? After your whatever, whatever starter kit. Uh, and then starter kit is caps. Like all of that. I'm not reading any of those words. And I'm still not sure how that connects to the very beginning where why dermatologists suggest this 
and then there's three reasons. I'm just not following <laughs> the whole narrative. Yeah, basically, I'm overwhelmed. Yeah. Like, Sorry, can we go back for like, a second? There are like eight. Also, is I feel like there are so many CTAs. It's like mm-hmm. upgrade to six yeah. grades, get a free gift. And then at the end, there's a whole thing. And there's like 37 different product bottles and like razors. And <laughs> right. I'm like, I almost want like simplification. You know, it's like, do I need three different things? Like squeezy products and a razor? Or like, is it the razor? What is going on? I'm overwhelmed. Yeah. Why is there a glove on the in the second shot? Why is there a... Doc, there you go. Dollar shave glove. Dollar shave glove. Come on. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Wait a second. What an incredible quick callback. But seriously, what is the shot that has two hands and a third hand shaving? Um, oh, oh, I know what it, it. This, I think. Well, I could be wrong, but it, to me, it seems like stock of somebody about to get tattooed. Um, or like surgery? look at yeah, the, yeah. this or lo- surgery. no or surgery. <laughs> like the location is weird of this like underbelly sort of situation. I don't like, know. So we're about to get rid of our appendix, but also <laughs> right. don't use crappy razors when you do it. You know what I mean? Here, here's what I think is happening. Maybe so. Scroll. Let's go through the first like four shots quickly. I think what happened is someone was briefed with the idea of let's increase our hook rate and hold rate. Period. That's the only goal. That's right. the only goal. <laughs> yep. If we do that we will improve performance. And like, it seems like to me, they just put their best hooks together or, or not even best hooks. They're not just even like, good, yeah. They're not good, but they are attention getting. They are confusing. Um, certainly that, like that first one is weird. Why would you be shaving a rug? Second one is still confusing. Why Why are there three hands here? Um, I've, I've played with this before of like, um, there are sometimes I've shot ads or seen ads where something is shot from like a camera, from like a, a first person perspective, but then both person's hands are in frame. Mm. And I think it actually triggers something in someone's brain of like, wait a second, how are they shooting that? Because either the camera is in the person's mat, like being held by a ma- mouth mount right. or someone else is wrapped their arm around their but i always think about that like why are there three hands here shaving something why is this person's belly button like how is this i think there's a lot of things that are uncomfortable that uh, would be getting attention here so and then that too like all of this i think is just attention 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 without good purpose or use to it um can i ask a stupid question what is going on with our like disclaimer here i've never put that on a map before in my life i was just gonna ask that the only times where we've been forced to do the do disclaimers are like governmenty or non-profity sort of situations or sometimes alcohol but i think there's a larger question around that when brands get to a certain size and there's legal involved and whatever what to me i almost never think a disclaimer belongs anywhere social content but i'd like to have a conversation about this where does it belong do we need it what what do you guys think We need to do a separate video on this. We need a lawyer to comment on this. But my understanding is that my understanding is that I think if you were posting, if a influencer were posting this on their own page, that that kind of disclaimer is kind of necessary and valuable. But I don't legally know for sure if a brand is posting this, if it needs to be added or not. I think there's plenty of people legally that would say it does. But like, why do UGC style ads suddenly need to have this? Why aren't they, what, like why, what's the difference between a paid actor shooting on a phone right. and a paid actor being shot in a, you know, $500,000 studio shoot? If it's an actor, it's an actor. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not a lawyer. I'm the son of a lawyer, but uh, like, this is what confuses me. And I've seen like uh, Social Savannah uh, has tweeted about this months ago that she started doing it. I think mostly because she saw brands like Lumen and other brands doing it as well. And I think Lumen saw um, either Dollar Shave Club or Dr. Squatch doing it. I feel like I've seen this happening less in recent months. I feel like I haven't Mm -hmm. been seeing these disclaimers, but I will tell you that it definitely uh, doesn't help performance. (laughs) Having the disclaimers in there, um, people it quickly adds to the fact that like, oh, you're definitely looking at an ad um, subconsciously. 
So that's my big spiel about it. I could do a full 30 minute chat about that if you want. Also, I think it's like the ad itself, it feels like we spliced together a bunch of other ads to put this mm -hmm. one together because of all the different CTAs, all the different like text styles, like the difference of the blocking text versus like the outlined text. But look at how many pieces of text, like if I sat down <laughs> I and I know. wrote it down, like between the disclaimer, the bunch of different CTAs, the pop-ups, there's also audio happening at multiple times when I need to process that. And then there mm -hmm. was like, we just saw like a random bit of text at the bottom about like something about combining your set together. <laughs> I'm literally like, as someone who comfortably announces that I have ADHD, this, this breaks my brain. Like it's too much for Truly. me. I'm overwhelmed. And it feels like because you're front loading me with so much information, I have subconsciously decided like something about this product is going to be inherently complicated when I receive it. And I don't want complicated things because my life is complicated enough. So I'm probably going to pass. Yeah. Um, people don't buy when they're stressed. Um, you know that's been that's been studied and proven uh, over and over again. I I could argue the opposite for one second. What Alexa said of that if you have ADD or ADHD, whatever, like it's or anyone, it's very possible that like because they're throwing so much stuff at you, you might only just be catching bits and pieces. And if each one of those bits and pieces catches you, and that matter like some of them matter, and you miss some of them, like that's okay. Maybe maybe I'm not really but for this. I'm not. But you're saying it's good. You're in a you're in a heightened state of uncomfortableness. You're not going to sit through. You're going to you're going to be pieced out here. You know, Maybe. Um, I think you can get a lot in if you if people are in a in a more comfortable state. Um, but yeah, I generally agree. I'm just saying it's very possible that there is something working there in a weird subconscious psychological way that we're not even like catching, which is always the case with, with this kind of advertising. There's something we're missing. You know, we expect this, we know this, but we also might be missing some other concept. Who knows? Um, very sloppy ad in general, even the audio in some of the VO was not synced up. Uh, I don't know if anyone caught that, but, um, yeah. So th I think, uh, I think that that's it for this autopsy, uh, episode three. Well done, everyone, man, we, we got through, uh, a lot and I think we delivered a, a lot of value. So I want to appreciate everyone, um, including Nicole and Alexa for, for hopping on, uh, Alexa, how, how is it for you? This is so fun. Can we do this all the time? Let me know when you want me back.